BPD. BPD causes people who suffer from it to display a wide range of intense emotions, usually within a relatively short time frame. For example, they might display overwhelming grief one moment and then display an unusual amount of anger and aggression the next. To describe it in simple terms, they are incredibly impulsive. They take risks, often due to their intense craving for other people to like them. One major trait regarding people who suffer from BPD is their feeling of emptiness and their intense fear of abandonment. They are deeply afraid of being alone, and because of this trait, they desire a strong bond with other people. However, because their emotions are often unchecked and uncontrolled, this causes the relationships they develop to be unstable and often fall apart, which perpetuates the cycle. In more extreme cases, people suffering from BPD might start to isolate themselves and display disturbing behavior, often resorting to self-harm. This is done out of feelings of emptiness, which makes them feel dejected, defeated, and disassociated with their surroundings. Schizoid Personality Disorder one very common trait expressed by people suffering from SPD is social detachment. People with this disorder display a lack of awareness for social norms, and because of this, they often refuse to interact with anyone at all. Instead, they prefer to isolate themselves and live within their own fantasy world. They find an immense level of comfort inside of their own imagination. They tend to create vast fantasy worlds, and they often enjoy living out these fantasies through online games or communities of other people that allow them to craft their own reality. Meanwhile, in the actual world, they display something that is known as the flat effect. This means that people with this disorder usually speak in monosyllables, are very prompt with their responses if they respond at all, and they generally try to find a way out of any social situation they're in. They also display an indifference when they're complimented, praised, or even criticized. They're not phased by anything anyone says to them because it's not really something that matters to them. Schizotypal Personality Disorder People who suffer from schizotypal personality disorder have extremely erratic and antisocial behaviors that often keep them from forming close relationships with anyone. They have odd beliefs, often considering themselves to be otherworldly beings who have powers or abilities that nobody else can possess. In a way, they view themselves as gods or demons, capable of great power and destruction. When these insane ideas are challenged in any way, schizotypals start panicking and often retreat into isolation. They also experience hallucinations and disassociative episodes, although the frequency and intensity of these attacks aren't enough to fall under a psychotic disorder. Narcissistic Personality Disorder there are a few traits that make it pretty easy to identify someone who suffers from narcissistic personality disorder. Most visibly, you'll find that they tend to exaggerate their achievements, often taking over the conversation and making sure they remain the topic of interest. There's a reason for this, however. Psychiatrists have determined that a person suffering from NPD has an incessant need for admiration and validation, and despite their grandiosity, they rely heavily on the approval of others. You'll often find them visibly upset when someone else takes center stage. In some cases, narcissists can even become increasingly aggressive towards anyone who takes away their spotlight. They get such a strong hint of dopamine from everyone else's approval and praise, and they are willing to play dirty to keep those hits coming. If they don't have anything substantial or worthwhile to show, they'll resort to manipulation, gaslighting, and toxic behavior to stay in focus. Understandably, this causes many people suffering from NPD to be very lonely and feel isolated. Most of their relationships fail, and almost all of them are unstable because of their need to control every aspect of not just theirs, but everyone else's life too. Avoidant Personality Disorder People with avoidant personality disorder tend to live in fear of being rejected, criticized, or even just not being good enough for other people's standards. This disorder causes people who suffer from it to be very shy, introverted, and show genuine fear when they're in a social gathering and have to deal with a lot of people at the same time. People suffering from AVPD are hypersensitive to negative reactions, and they typically only hang out with people that they trust and know for sure like them. This fear of being criticized and ridiculed completely takes over their mind. It's all that they can think about. Since they're always afraid of negative reactions, they tend to isolate themselves. In many situations, 
situations, they manage to convince themselves through their own self-loathing that they're not good enough, even in scenarios they obviously excel in. For children, this disorder usually manifests as students who are terrified of partaking in class activities because they're almost certain they'll do or say the wrong things. A lot of their own self-worth, if not all of it, is based on how others view them. Obsessive Compulsive Personality Disorder OCPD has been talked about a lot, yet it's often poorly understood. People suffering from OCPD have an incessant need to control everything around them, and that's because they believe that there are special rules in place for everything, and everyone who is around them must adhere. Their rules are often completely made up, and it's impossible to get them to understand that the rules they believe so strongly in aren't real or necessary. That's because people suffering from OCPD believe that anyone who breaks these rules is actually trying to harm them. If their rules are broken, they will start to display erratic emotions, often disruptive behavior, and uncontrollable aggression, because they believe that the broken rules will now, in some way, haunt them forever. People who suffer from this disorder are inflexible, and they are dead set in their ways. Sustaining long-term relationships is incredibly difficult for them, because people, unfortunately, view them as odd because of their indescribable way of living. They are also typically bad at decision-making a skill that is especially necessary in managing any friendship or relationship. Dependent Personality Disorder If you suffer from Dependent Personality Disorder, the worst thing in the world that can happen to you is simply sitting alone with your thoughts, even if it's only for just a minute. DPD causes extremely submissive behavior, clinginess, and borderline obsession with whoever the person has latched themselves onto. People suffering from this disorder rarely, if ever, initiate activities or conversations themselves. Instead, they feel much more comfortable when someone else is leading the way. This lack of self confidence in their own decision making can have severe negative effects. Mainly, people suffering from DPD will be targeted for their overly submissive behavior and often mistreated by the people they've developed an unhealthy obsession with. Because they are unable to make decisions for themselves, putting a stop to their abuse by themselves is extremely difficult. Paranoid Personality Disorder just like those who suffer from SPD, people who suffer with paranoid personality disorder tend to isolate themselves from the rest of the world. However, they have a more specific reason for this. If you take a peek into their lives, what you'll quickly notice is that they are extremely methodological, meaning that they have a method for everything that they do throughout the day, and it's not always clear why they do things a certain way. Their paranoia and hypervigilance is definitely no joke. It doesn't matter how long you've known someone with PPD, they will always treat you as if you have an ulterior motive against them and want to put them in some sort of harm's way. If you simply assure them that there is nothing to worry about, that's not going to work, as it will only make them become become argumentative, and in some cases, even aggressive, as they retreat farther back into their paranoia. All of this ties in with their delusions and the thoughts that they've crafted inside of their mind. People with paranoid personality disorder are all perfectionists. They believe that everyone is out to get them and that they can only stop themselves from feeling this way if they have complete control of their lives, hence their perfectionism. Antisocial Personality Disorder before we talk about the intricacies of ASPD, we have to understand specifically what it means to be social. To put it very simply, being social requires you to have a basic level of respect for the people around you, a regard for social constructs, and an understanding of how to conduct yourself in a specific social setting, even if the people around you are total strangers. People with ASPD, however, have a lack of disregard for others. Often, they go as far as violating other people's rights. This could manifest itself in several different ways such as a lack of empathy or compulsion towards being manipulative. For example, someone with ASPD might completely disregard your feelings toward a certain situation, like if your family member died, for instance. While you would grieve in front of them, they might superimpose their own feelings and emotions, demanding that they be heard instead, due to their lack of basic understanding of social etiquette. They also display aggression in some cases, along with a lack of remorse. However, none of these traits are outwardly. That's because people with ASPD typically have very good charm and charisma. Based on an initial interaction you might have had with someone suffering from ASPD, it would usually be very hard to tell that they are suffering from a personality disorder. Histrionic Personality Disorder People suffering from HPD need approval to go about their day. Their entire day, 
including everything they do and say, revolves around acknowledgement and appreciation from others. These people tend to lash out whenever their position in a social setting is threatened. Another common trait for those suffering with HPD is their excessive emotions and emotional instability. On a much deeper level, people suffering from HPD are heavily reliant on the approval of others, which strongly deters their decision-making capabilities. Since they believe universal validation is necessary for their survival, they'll often make impulsive and detrimental decisions, as long as it results in them receiving positive attention in the end. And just as much as they love positive attention, they also absolutely hate and despise criticism and any form of negative attention.